Hello, my name is Mr. Laura Spate. First, give it unto God who's truly ahead of my life. All my father's children, I just want to thank the Lord for what he is in my life. And I want to thank each and every one of the YouTube viewers. May God continue to bless you. And I urge you to subscribe if you are blessed. T today, I want to talk from Luke, the 15th chapter, talk about the prodigal son. And this message is, you can always come home. I think any Christian are, is familiar with the story of the prodigal son. One son was indebted to his father, the other acts to give all that was owed to him. That was very disrespectful because the younger son did not even want to wait until his father had passed away to ask for his inheritance. But his father, as parents do, want to please their children. And he gave him his inheritance. Well, the Bible says that he went out with righteous living and he wasted away living frivolously and no regards to tomorrow. Well, just like anything else, once your money runs out, the friends are gone, all the partying is gone, and it says that the younger brother, he looked around and he ran across some citizens and he had to feed the pigs. Well, we know that the Jews were not accustomed to be around pigs. They was considered unclean. But I'm here to tell you that that's what sin does and pride. It gets you wallowing in the slop. And it's a bad thing when slop start to look like filet mignon. The younger brother, he looked around and he began to be in want. He had no friends, he had no money. And he came up with an idea, but he said, I'll go to my father and say, I've sinned and only against you and my father in heaven have I sinned. See, he came to his senses. And sometimes God had to put us in a place we get so low down that the only way we can come to our senses is we have to get down and waddle in the filth. And this is what the younger son did. But it says, when he came to his senses, that he got up and he went back to his father. And the Bible says that even when the son was far off, his father saw him. You see, the father never lost hope. He knew his son was going to return. And he said that he ran and he kissed his son, grabbed him, because the father was waiting all the time for the son to return. Oh, rest assured, you can always come home. And when the son began to repent about how much he had done his father wrong. The father, he wasn't concerned about that. He wanted a feast. He said, clean him up, put him on some clothes, because we're going to have a celebration. But the younger son said, I deserve nothing but to be a hired hand. But the father, he never thought any less of his son. And he restored him back to as if he had never left. He let him come back to his position. And it says that the older brother seen what was going on, heard the music. And he wanted to know what was going on. And when the servant told him that his younger brother had returned and there was a celebration, he began to get angry. And he went to his father saying, you never had a feast for me and I've been here the whole time 
and I'm putting it in my own words and my little brother go out and doing foolish things and you bring him back like he never done anything wrong. But I'm here to tell you, that's how God is. We go away in our foolishness, but when we repent and come to our senses, God will bring us back. And he's not like man because he don't throw your sins up in your face. Oh, the father could have said, I told you so, and you should have listened to me, and, and you don't deserve to come back. But he said that my son that was lost, and now he's found. The father had joy because his son had came back in his presence. So I'm here to tell you that God he wants us to come back. He's waiting with open arms, looking for us to say, Father, I stretch my hand to thee. I know I messed up and I'm a wretch undone. But I had to waddle down in the mud and roll with the pigs in my sin. But only your blood can clean me up and wash me as white as snow. And Father, forgive me and take me back into your arms because I know that I have sinned. You can always come home. God specializes in second chances if you just repent and come to him. God is waiting. That application is, we are all sinners, worthy of nothing but to be outcasts. But God is the loving Father that's waiting for us with outstretched arms, waiting for us to come and say, Lord, I'm sorry. Forgive me for what I've done. And the Lord is faithful and just to cleanse us from all, all unrighteousness. So as the prodigal son was brought back and his father received him and didn't hold his sin against him, our father in heaven is the same way. Oh, never get too far removed that you think that you can't come back because God is just a prayer way. If you just repent, and tell him, Lord, I'm sorry. Please set me back and help me to go and walk in your way. You can always come home. But the time is now because the Lord is soon to return. So don't let it be said too late. Lord, Please forgive me and turn me in the right direction so that I can worship you in spirit and in truth. I know I made some mistakes in my life, but Lord, I understand that you are a God of second chances. And for that, I am thankful. May someone take this message and share it with someone don't ever think you too far gone. You can always start over. But time is winding up. So today is the day of salvation. And never think that God loved you any less. Because once you're justified by the Lord, it's just as if you never sinned. And God wants to make you over. He wants to clean you up if you just trust and depend on him. So today is the day that you can always come back home. Jesus is looking for you 
and he's waiting with open arms. Trust in the Lord and go back home.